All right, uh, greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba, and today's date is November 7th, and we're getting ready for our upcoming uh, tours to uh, Tanzania, November 18th to the 29th, and Ghana, December 24th to uh, January uh, 5th. And family, I'll be uh, meeting everyone and leading everyone on this wonderful journey and have our crews and staff and people of that sort all in place for both of these journeys. And uh, we have everything uh, basically the same for the uh, Senegal and Gambia journey. One or two things was adjusted, but that was uh, about it. Uh, that journey uh, worked out um, nice and smooth. I'm going to start from the uh, conference call newsletter that was sent. And that's always a good flow of documentation. Uh, it has the uh, conference call information on it as far as this, the next conference call and also this, all of the relative links, all the things that we're going to talk about as far as uh, documentation, uh, where to find all the information and further documentation as far as pictures and videos. So that's the flow of all the information that we have. We have this full details on the website, africaforafricans.org, to where you can read through full itinerary, full tour overview, general terms, preparation details. And we also have relative videos with us, us out in the, the country based on the itinerary you're looking at. And you can just see and just get a feel of what we do. And, and then also pictures and galleries, um, whether it's Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so. Those, all, all those links are right on this uh, newsletter. Next thing that's uh, on there is that, that you see at the top is a conference call recording. So all the conference calls that we do, we just spend time to just edit it, clean it up, and put it in presentation format. Um, that way you can just, uh, anyone that's uh, interested in traveling with us can just hear a flow of details of preparation and see documentation of all the photos uh, based on groups that we have taken to uh, Africa or taken on uh, journeys, uh, roots and culture journeys uh, from 2006. All right, uh, scrolling down, um, you'll see a link. Uh, we're always accepting our deposit for all of the tours that we have available. Uh, what you'll see uh, for the tours for 2022 is uh, uh, the full tour package is 3,800 flights, and then the land package is 2,500. And all those things are always subject to uh, change. So always recommend our deposit to lock in the journey to build a group. That way we can you know, make sure we have a nice uh, group size. If we need to just reschedule based on the fact that we don't have enough people, then we'll do so or transfer people to another group or so on. So we have enough flexibility of journeys that we have throughout the year um, to where you can you know, move around. Uh, so you have one one in the spring, one in summer, one in the fall, and one in winter. So there's one for every season. As we scroll down, there, you'll see uh, all of the, um, the links I'm talking about, and that, that will just take you right to the website for all of the upcoming uh, journeys that we have. Once I get back from Tanzania, or just a little bit before, then I'll put up the next uh, Tanzania schedule. So that's the next one that I'll be adding. When you scroll down, you see videos and photos. So that's one of the things I've always uh, mentioned to everyone. It's a whole lot of videos. So it is 2,800 videos, and these are wide spans of documentation from the different countries you travel to, which includes a presentation like a slideshow, conference call, interviews, tour videos, members' feedback, us going to different locations, uh, historical and cultural, and things like that. So. It's just um, just, a, just a live highlight of just us in Africa, uh, which is just always amazing. But uh, literally spend time just recording these videos to share and also just uh, you know, do our best to just let people see that, uh, you know, for those who may not be able to make it, uh, and, they, and it's also this research and documentation of history because usually we are on sites with tour guides that are educated to do presentation or presenting it, and I'm just recording and shooting the documentation, and we just do as much photos as we can. So throughout the newsletter, you'll see all of these uh, group photos and things like that. And that's uh, one of the main things I always want to let everyone know, you have enough preparation information. So as we go into the topics, uh, it talks about introduction, about us, updates, um, tour schedule. And these are the things that are point on the uh, website. 
Um, but what I want to do is break down each of the journeys that we've taken and talk about uh, the more important things. Now, since we're leaving for Tanzania, uh, some of the main important things about Tanzania is really for everyone to make sure that they log into uh, the international ticket, which is on KLM, uh, which we'll all meet up on November 19 on, um, in, at Amsterdam. And so that whole ticket sequence is set for you to leave from the U.S., meet in Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Kilimanjaro Airport. And then we're going to come back from Dar es Salaam to, to Amsterdam and from Amsterdam back to where you are. And then for most of us, uh, Atlanta. So make sure, uh, and some of us may have to log into both Delta and KLM, but those are the, what you have to log into to make sure that you see the clear update information on your ticket and not just the email that was sent or the link with the presentation of the flight schedule. I also, for those who are traveling with us to Tanzania, I sent everyone their domestic ticket on Air Tanzania that will leave from Kilimanjaro Airport uh, directly to Zanzibar Island, and that's going to be November 23rd. Uh, so I sent the actual ticket printout um, attached PDF, and you can just print that out and bring it with you, and you can also just save it also as a PDF. You, um, in there, you also have the uh, confirmation number, so you can just click on the link and log in, and then you can view a ticket also online. So that's always something I just recommend everyone do. Uh, that way you just see your information clear in the system that you're going to have to just access. So that clears us for uh, that ticket. And also on that same email is the uh, favorable tickets, which everyone will get when they get to uh, Tanzania. But I just uh, put together a PDF of all the tickets uh, that way everyone see that that's taken care of. So those are our transportation flow, and that's all taken care of to Tanzania. Now, the next thing that we always got to worry about is taking a COVID test before we leave. Uh, so I recommend everyone take it November uh, 16th if you're going to get a 24-hour result. If you're going to get your results back in two to three days, recommend you take it a uh, day before that, which is November 15th. Uh, so that's the sequence of how I have it, uh, have it explained. In, in the presentation last time, we talked with um, the group of us that uh, were all leaving for Tanzania. Uh, so that's uh, one thing. Now, uh, we have a health, um, so we have a travel advisory that was sent to all the members and also posted on our group WhatsApp page. Uh, that way, it's on both uh, forums. You check your email or you can check the page. Uh, so that gives you all of the updates. If I find anything else newer, we'll go to those updates. But the main thing uh, that everyone has to just be clear about is that you fill out the health form um, you know, two days before you uh, travel, and I recommend that you pay for your COVID test two days before you travel. And these are some of the similar things that we're going to talk about um, as far as our Ghana. But those are the main things that you have to uh, worry about. And uh, what I'm hearing is, is um, as far as plastic bags, uh, that I guess when your bags are checked, if you have plastic bags, they'll be taken away. So. Um, um, I don't remember reading that on uh, Travel Advisory, but um, you know, once you open up uh, someone who has knowledge of those things that's traveling with us to Tanzania or anything that they would like to share with the rest of us to Tanzania, let us know. Uh, last time we did go over a lot of the preparation details as far as uh, bringing the universal power adapters and a universal extension cord and things like that, and just having all your preparation details. So those things are still there uh, and always available right there on the website uh, when you click on the tour link uh, for your preparation information. So unfortunately, we just can't always just go over all of those details. And at this very moment, uh, everyone that's traveling with us um, to Tanzania, you've got to definitely make sure that you have your visa taken care of and also make sure that you have a printout of whatever you are given. So all those documents that you're looking to travel with us to Tanzania, make sure you just have it all organized and ready to go. And that's the best thing I can explain to everyone. And then we'll, what we'll do, we'll talk about a meetup uh, point uh, where we just uh, literally just meet up uh, here in uh, Atlanta for those of us who are meeting up. And then when we do meet up uh, in Amsterdam, we'll just uh, meet up uh, closer to the gate. And it's one of those things where since we're all in the group, we'll just take photos and say, hey, we're here and things like that. And that's why I just try to get everybody to be on the WhatsApp. So if you're traveling with us and you're not on the WhatsApp group, um, that's the best way I can do to just share information. And once we get closer and in the country, and I'll do my best to this, even though we have tour books and the, the schedule, to just post whatever we're doing the next day 
and then just share any updates and things like that. And then anyone need to communicate with us while we are in the country, uh, you can just send a, you know, a separate message on WhatsApp since we'll all be connected to the Wi-Fi network there at the hotel. So family, that is, we're literally just all set for Tanzania. We have a wonderful in-between schedule there. Um, once we finish from Arusha, we're going to be in Zanzibar Island. We'll be up the first day we'll get there, we'll get there early. Um, since we have one of those early flights that leave from Kilimanjaro to Zanzibar Island, uh, the good and positive thing about it, we'll be able to have a full relaxing beach day for anyone who just want to kick back and relax. If you want to do anything as a group, as far as just a, a boat ride or something like that, then uh, we'll work that out. Uh, beyond that, um, anyone can just do what they need to do, and, and none of those things are included as far as your kickback, relaxing, massages, or uh, if you want to do jet skiing and things like that. Uh, but you have that environment to do that. The next day we'll do a um, Stone Town uh, tour, and that will just be the one tour that we'll do uh, there, and then the next day we'll have the same thing through this, another beach day. So uh, right here in Zanzibar Island is more kickback and relaxing. And we get to Dar es Salaam, you know, one day out on tour, and the next day uh, could be used as this. Anyone want to do final shopping and things like that? So the schedule was, um, uh, extra day was added from last year, uh, so that's why it flows a lot smoother. That's just what had to be done to make it work out perfect like that. Uh, so that's why we have a uh, wonderful uh, Tanzania um, itinerary with a beautiful four-star uh, hotel uh, lodging, uh, so it's more on the relaxing, you know, it's roots and culture, but also this more of a relaxing getaway um, schedule. Uh, what I do recommend, regardless of whatever journey you travel on, um, if you really want to kick back and do certain things, uh, definitely stay back longer. You can always let me know ahead of time so I can get the tickets changed before we finalize on it. And you can always change it at any time. You know, and, and in some cases, you may have to just pay change fee and um, and fair increase uh, charges and things like that. But nevertheless, you have that option to stay longer, which is what I recommend, because we can only do so much on a journey itself. All right, so for the uh, Ghana journey, uh, same thing with the visa. Everybody uh, looking, for, looking for everybody to start working on the visa immediately. That way, if you run into any issues, we can assist you. Uh, the best thing I could do for visas for any tour is literally sending you the visa email and then if you need certain documents and anything beyond just the visa email, uh, you just uh, let me know uh, when you're ready to do it, and I'll get those things to you and, and things like that. For those who are traveling with us, um, uh, the group booking is clear, so you, have your, you can just print off your own flight itinerary. And beyond that, the only thing that I will need to get you is an invitation uh, email uh, with an invitation letter, compliance letter, and a host passport. Uh, so these are the requirements uh, if you're looking to travel to Ghana with us. Uh, so, so you just let me know ahead of time. Any last-minute situations, um, I'll do the best I can do, but I'm, I also have to get ready for these journeys, and I also have to get ready to do certain things. So at this very moment throughout the day, I'm always available to, if you get stuck somewhere to work on these things with you. And if you just need immediate help, just send a quick um, message on WhatsApp, and I'll just reply back as soon as possible while I'm just moving around throughout the day. Uh, that way, you know, no one gets stuck and everyone can just get things going. But the best thing to do uh, is to just download all the information that's sent to you and keep in a folder and then look through it and then just fill out your application and you have everything that you need. Uh, all these things are things that go over every year. So if something is missing or something is not added, I just, you know, doing the edit, so it's edited and added on. Beyond that, the uh, Ghana journey, um, we're all set to leave on United, so we're looking to get to Ghana a lot early in the daytime, so we'll be able to have a nice welcome dinner. Uh, then when we get there in the evening, we'll be able to just also just be able to just uh, relax and kick back. Um, the pool is always a good option for a nice little um, swim and relaxation by the pool, or for those who journey was very long and want to relax, you can relax. Uh, so, and then we'll just leave with this. You know, start things off with a nice, uh, beautiful uh, welcome dinner during Ghana, December 25th, and then we just uh, take it from there with the uh, itinerary. I'm working on the next uh, book, which is the uh, 15th anniversary book, uh, 20 yet uh, Journey for a Lifetime to Ghana. So I'll have that in uh, PDF. It'll be on a website for download, and it'll be posted on a group page. 
and I'm working on just getting it done as best as possible and uh, get as much printed as possible so everybody can have a printed copy that's traveling with us. So those are the things that uh, I'm working on for that journey to be ready. Uh, we have the Repatriation and Investment Conference. All we're going to be talking about a multitude of things. We don't have a citizenship conference. Uh, so if anyone saw highlights of what we did in May this year and December last year, that was there for a specific setup. Now we have a different setup. If anyone wants to just deal with um, you know, basically our residency. But as far as the citizenship, uh, that's, um, you know, it's something that uh, will be done based on those who are interested. They would have to just communicate with us and then I just get them connected to the right people. But it's not something that we're just going to be there doing. Uh, what we're going to be doing is introducing a lot of the people that are working with us there in Ghana as far as repatriation and investment, uh, people that's helping us build a community, people are helping us get people accommodated and set up, and also people that's there in the country uh, that represent uh, the business entity of the country to get you clear about how to you know, do business in a certain way. So it's always unique uh, as a big, you know, try my best to get different people to come and share things and then always trying to look to step it up. So that would be nice. That's usually about an hour and a half to two uh, hours. And so that's uh, one presentation itself. Beyond that, we're just doing tours in Accra, and then you know, sometimes we're doing, doing networking. So we do have someone that works in immigration that, uh, for those who are with us, um, we may just have certain short, um, just private sessions where we talk with certain people, uh, but certain people have their jobs and situation, and, you know, um, you can't record them and things like that. So we do have some of those private sessions that's for group members only. Whenever we do certain, you know, uh, group networking. Uh, the next thing, uh, when you come into Ghana with us, uh, we have everything ready for those who are going to be coming with us uh, to join us on the bus for the land that's even outside of our group. Uh, we're going to be leaving um, the usual time, December 29th, uh, early in the morning, to go to the land site, Black Star Pan African Community. So that's the next set of presentation as far as uh, meeting the chief, seeing the land meeting the first set of people that are building and people that are living there and give updates on what's going on in the town, take everybody down by the beach and show everybody different parts of the town that we're looking to invest in and build as far as our future uh, investment. Uh, so that is an ongoing project um, for 15 uh, acres and also an additional 50 plus acres, uh, which we just, you have to just keep working on these things. It takes a long time. So what we've done um, it's been great uh, uh, progress, and we look for the next uh, two years to just get people ready to just build up on the community. So I posted all updates on all the previous uh, journeys as far as the pictures, the videos, and things like that, and I look forward to just giving everyone more details based on all the things I just mentioned for Ghana. So Ghana is the only journey that we have that just provides hardcore roots and culture, um, repatriation and investment aspect. Um, and, and things like that. So you may not find too much relaxation on this journey, but again, what I recommend you do is stay longer and then get back in the country, or you can just, if there's certain days that you don't want to roll out with us uh, and you want to relax at the hotel, uh, definitely, especially like when you get to Cape Coast, Elmina, or Kumasi. The schedule does slow down a little bit, but uh, we do hit the ground running on our schedule um, during Ghana, so... Uh, do pace yourself. Um, some people, you know, may look at it uh, different, but it's a schedule, so it's up to you to just, you know, honestly, just pace yourself. So all of these things are all set uh, to just make sure that everyone is literally just ready for all of those meetups and connections and networking and things like that. And again, the WhatsApp page is where a whole lot of data. So usually I just post information, and it's not a page that we just have people post a lot of stuff on there. Um, so you can always just scroll up and just see whatever updates that's on there. And uh, if you just need anything, information in general, you can just always just reach out to me, a quick message. So let's try to keep it uh, simple uh, as best as possible. Right. And the uh, Senegal and the uh, Gambia uh, journey that we have for April is still uh, looking to add a few more uh, people and looking to just um, continue that wonderful journey where we do uh, four days in Senegal, and then uh, four days in the Gambia, and 
The uh, only thing that I'm looking to change is the hotel that we stayed in the Gambia. I haven't finalized a change, uh, but I'm going to put something closer to Kaloli. Uh, and something definitely closer to the Senegambia Gambia Strip uh, for evening dinners and things like that. That way we can just eat at different locations in the evening for dinner and just kind of just be able to just get access to just get out more and things like that. So that is... Um, a journey also just got lots of uh, wonderful footage. I uh, still have a few photos that I'm um, going to be uploading from that journey, but beyond that. And my goal is still to just work it to where we have these direct flights to Senegal, direct to Ghana, and the only thing don't have a direct option to is uh, to Tanzania. Uh, but beyond that, we've been able to do good. To, the better we can stay out of Europe is the better. It's just uh, one of those situations where you just you know, avoid any any extra protocol or and things like that that you just don't want to deal with, especially since we're going through this, this travel period that's just uh, hectic and that's you know, always dramatic. Right. Uh, so looking forward to this, um, everyone that's being ready for these journeys. Um, we talked about just being prepared for a whole list of different things. So I'm always trying to engage everyone to just get out there and swim. Um, definitely, you know, for those who are coming with us to Tanzania, and we're just there on the beach for a few days. But even beyond that, you know, we always have access to a nice pool to kick back and relax um, and just enjoy your relaxation. So make sure you are prepared and bring everything that you need. And then for when we're hiking and not really necessarily climbing, but going up steep places and we just – out there in elements, make sure you bring some good walking, uh, uh, climbing shoes, like, you know, for canopy walks and things like that. As a fan, as I stroll down to the newsletter, I'll see all these Facebook uh, group pages, so I do my best to just post as much as I can on there, and when we're on tour, I get, you know, my goal is to just give everyone these links to to share their photos and videos on there. And um, it's just a, a series of documentation on all of these pages. All right, and the last thing uh, for um, Senegal and Gambia, you do not need a visa for Senegal, but you do need one for the Gambia, and currently the Gambia visa is a five-year visa, and it's uh, for $200. Very simple visa to fill out. Once you click on the Gam uh, Senegal and Gambia journey, uh, you'll see um, the Gambia visa details and also for those that are traveling with us and need a visa email, you know, once I connect with you and you tell me you're going to join the journey and you give me an email address, I usually send out those uh, emails, and, you know, overview, uh, newsletters, and uh, visa details. But if you need a visa email, that's the best way I would recommend you approach for that, the visa application because all of the sample data and everything that you need to fill in and instructions and details are all there that I've typed up and put together to make it easy for anyone else, else that's looking to travel with us to any other country that need visa, Ghana, Tanzania, and the Gambia. And uh, all countries, uh, you're going to have to deal with the COVID protocols, taking the COVID test before you get there and taking one on your return. So all those sequence of things, I always tell people not to stress that we'll go through them consistently. And I'm always talking with our tour guides in different countries to make sure that we are updated on all these procedures. And it's up to us as individuals also to be clear about all of the procedures in the country that we're going to, including their airports and things like that. And then we can also discuss these things on the uh, group WhatsApp page, that way we, we educate each other on all these things. But uh, so far, so good. I've taken two journeys last year after... Um, you know, after countries started opening up and then two this year, and we've been able to get there um, and back with no problem. The only issue is that we've had one or two uh, journeys where people have showed up a few days late, and that's because of not following the COVID protocols and your COVID test either coming back too early or you you at the airport when you get on your flight uh, and you you know you still don't have a result. Uh, so those are some of the things that have happened dramatically. So let's do your best, everyone, to follow all the things that I put together. Everything that I've done in this business is just based on experience and. Uh, and just, you know, you know, research and development and things like that and just getting updates from the people that we deal, deal with. So um, just do, you know, 
So just do your best to, to do that and you should have no problem. Right? So what I'm going to do is open things up. That way we can just dialogue more with our questions and answer. Right, so family, appreciate everybody um, uh, listening to the quick uh, presentation. I uh, didn't want to drag on too much uh, with, with, with anyone that's traveling or any of the journey with us this year or next year. Uh, just uh, meet yourself by pressing star six and then get your name, where you're calling from, your question, and what journey you're traveling on, and then we'll just go through as many questions as possible in the next uh, 30 minutes. Uh, greetings, I can hear you, but your background is very loud. Okay, this is Deborah. Uh, the, the reception that I'm getting on right now on the phone is very poor, so I'm, I'm probably playing if I go ahead and ask my questions while you're on. The travel advisory that was sent via email and was also posted to everyone, um, everyone on the uh, group page. So that's what you have to follow your travel advisory as far as the, uh, the health forms and things like that. Now, as far as um, uh, your SIM card, once you get to the country, you have to go to the you have you have to go to a location where you you're going directly to a you know, to a phone store. You know, whether you're in a, going to a mall or you're going into to the city itself, and then you just uh, let them know that you want to get a SIM card, and um, you either have to just have an unlock uh, phone already, or you can purchase a phone from there. And then that will give you a Tanzania phone number, phone system, and you can make calls and do anything you need to do um, with their system. So let me know if um, if I answer your question and if that's clear. Yeah, I'll bring it back uh, in a few minutes when I get home. Thank you. Okay, I hear you good. Um, but I'm also sending you the travel advisory to your um, to your WhatsApp right now. And, um, let me know if it was clear to you, uh, Deborah. All right, I just uh, sent the travel advisory to you. So anyone that's traveling with us to Tanzania, please make sure you take your time and read through the travel advisory uh, for your own knowledge of uh, the, uh, being clear on it and the uh, updates and things like that. Uh, Deborah, I can't hear you. Uh, let me uh, meet you. And uh, next person, um, your name, we're calling from your question and what journey you're traveling on. Hey, Bamani, this is Sean. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, Sean, I can hear you. Yes, I have a question. I know that the um, the tour, the Ghana tour, is over on January the 4th, correct? Uh, yes, January the 4th, uh, finish, and then um, you get back on the 5th. Some people have that schedule. Okay. I, I'm, I'm actually staying over until the 6th. I think that's the, that's the Thursday. And I already booked my hotel for where I want to stay at. Um, will you happen to offer any type of transportation options for us? Uh, yes, uh, everybody. Um, happen to go to different hotels? So, yes, depends on where everybody's going. Um, so that's not a problem. I'll have to just uh, finalize that on that day. Uh, but what we have set up, um, and it's not limited to that, but uh, the bus uh, go to the airport, and then from the airport, those who are not going to um, fly out that day, they're going to be dropped back off to the Micklin Hotel. And then the driver has to go at the end of his contract and schedule. Uh, so before that, um, if we know where you, where you are closer, we can arrange that, or you can get your arrangements to pick you up uh, from the uh, Micklin Hotel. So that's something that, you know, we'd have to just finalize closer towards uh, that time. Okay, and, and as, as far as United, they – do not have any flights that fly out January the 5th, correct? Uh, you can, uh, you'd have to call and check with them. Um, they're, you know, they do things a little different, uh, but they, they may be able to offer you something, but it's just it's not going to be a situation they have changed it without a cost. They're going to be offering you an option to change it for anywhere from three to $500 minimum. Oh, okay. All right. I just wanted to ask that, that question. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for Bomani. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so uh, that will uh, work. All right. And also for those who are uh, staying back longer um, in Ghana in January, for those who want to stay at the Micklin Hotel, um, I'll work it out with management to reduce the price of the rooms for us. Uh, so uh, that's something I can work out for you. And whether you want a roommate or 
the single room, that is also our fine. And for those who want to do something else, that are staying back the extra few days since your flight are going to leave either on the 6th or the 7th. For those who are flying on United with us, uh, you just have to just communicate. And at the same time, to you, you know, it's something that we can even communicate about um, literally when we're in Kumasi, when we just get a lot of the heavy stuff out of the schedule and then we're just there. You know, we can just talk about it on our bus ride to Kumasi. So, so that's all we do, family, on some of these things. Uh, but also, wonder if anyone want to talk about anything as far as preparation or anything um, now that uh, we need to focus on. And also, anyone that's traveling with us, um, for any of the journeys, um, anything that you'd like to share with the rest of us, the line is open also. Or any advice, or you know, some people have different uh, travel experience and things like that, and recommendations and also tips and things that they may know that others may not always know. The line is open to sharing. And those who are coming to Ghana with us December, be ready for December 31st, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, party like no other, right there at One Africa on the Beach. All right, so family, it's star six to unmute yourself. All right, so family, for those who are leaving for Tanzania, we leave in 11 days. I guess if you don't have any questions, you are ready to go, so that is perfect because I am going to be packing get myself ready. So uh, best I can do for you, uh, send me a message and I'll reply back as soon as possible within uh, after the hour. All right, perfect. A few people received the ferry boat tickets and... Domestic flight for Tanzania. So yes, family, the goal is to get these things done ahead of time and out the way. So we are just waiting for to go to Tanzania and waiting for our T-shirts and um, for me to finish our tour book. That I am going to be trying to outdo what we did last year. So we got a lot of our own pictures, so I'll be able to put a lot of our own pictures in there. And that book, for those who are in, on any other journey, will be, will be right there on our website, africaforafricans.org. And right on the main menu, it will say tour book, and you'll see it for Tanzania, November 2021. So my goal is to put it together and then upload a digital version. And so on, and then work on the Ghana book. So looking forward to sharing that documentation for others who are looking to travel. Uh, so that's what we have. We just have lots of information of sharing our experience so that everyone knows it's real and how we do things. Um, at least you can compare it to whatever else other people are trying to engineer and construct. Um, but this journey for a lifetime is an experience that leads you into us connecting and talking about this African nation building, business investment and things like that, which you can just enjoy it as a journey and a getaway. All right, so family, as I finish my last Kumasi videos, I'm going to be getting my camcorder and all my equipment and everything ready to shoot some fresh videos and to show everyone us enjoying the journey for a lifetime. Uh, so... For those who have that interest, I would definitely see you next year for Tanzania at the similar schedule. So that is, I've been to many other places and you've never been here before. That is a nice special journey. Uh, there's no business investment that I'll be talking about, but you can always talk with the tour guides and other people uh, there about those things. And if you're definitely looking to you know, live there and stay back, you know, we definitely have lots of people there that we can connect you with and uh, help you with just getting settled. Uh, so for those who still need plans and don't have plans and staying back, uh, just re you know, reach out. And then for those who want to do it next year, definitely. I uh, want to just continue this wonderful uh, itinerary. You know, for those who, and for those who are looking t uh, as far as South Africa, unfortunately, the Tanzania schedule replaced South Africa. It just worked out so much better. It just, uh, just, it just hit the points on you know what you're looking to this share, especially the part with the, you know the 
the beach resort right there in the middle. And there's a one-way domestic flight and ferry boat flight. Yeah. And not having to deal with going to Johannesburg to Cape Town and back to Johannesburg. And then this itinerary ultimately is just more balance. My issue with the itinerary in South Africa is this. It's uh, Nelson Mandela overkill. You know, it's kind of like if I did an itinerary in Ghana and all we do is this, uh, the transatlantic European safe trade, you know, which, you know, we, we tap into a few days, but we also have this a, a balance of so many other things, you know, uh, and so on. So, um, but, you know, it could be adjusted and things like that. Um, but with all of the drama of this, every time you look up, it's always this going out, uh, uh, whether it's issues with the Nigerians or issues with different African groups or issues with this going on and that going on. I think the last thing I heard is it's, uh, the right folks are pushing to to make the western part of uh, South Africa its own sovereign nation, all kind of things like that. So, you know, um, it's not a stable energy, basically. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with these four countries that we have for now, you know, Ghana, Tanzania, Senegal, and the Gambia. And those are the four that we did, you know, for 2020 and 2021. So, so far, so good. Uh, so the newsletter is a nice family. Um, you can always share them with friends, families, and people who just have the interest, and they could just process the details, you know, all free information. All right, so family, we have about uh, another 10, 15 minutes. Uh, star six to unmeet yourself. Also, I'm looking at the topics. Uh, I just want to do a quick reminder for those who are looking to bring school supplies to any of the journeys with us. Um, bring as much as you can. Financial donation is also open. Um, we have a link on the uh, website that says uh, school supplies that lists a bunch of different things, but you can just bring whatever from your heart. And if you don't want to bring anything, that is also uh, fine. The next uh, thing that we always talk about is uh, bring this a combination of red, black, and green colors, or red, black, green, and gold. And uh, same thing uh, with um, white outfit. Uh, so those are for ancestral days or paying homage to African ancestors, or you know, or days that we just have where it's dealing with um, African Holocaust, um, you know, or you know, and things like that. Uh, so. This I know, work the list that we've given, information we've given, this make yourself as prepared as possible. But uh, that's what I've been talking about the last few months uh, ever since we got back from uh, Ghana. So I'm hoping that everybody is prepared because I am getting myself ready to prepare. And as soon as we finish Tanzania, I'm going to come back, unpack, reorganize, and head back out to Ghana. So I'm, I'll be on the move. So family, this is me making myself available. All right, I guess nobody wants to share anything else. All right, uh, family, I am still here to answer any questions for anyone looking to travel with us on any of the journeys that we are going to Africa this year or next year. All right, and for those who are traveling to Tanzania, make sure you check your email for your the master ticket and just to see the ferry boat uh, ticket and things like that. So you can be clear that we're going on water and you definitely need to bring a jacket and things like that and make sure that um, you're good even though we're going to be on the inside. And definitely looking for a wonderful journey on that uh, nice, and it's a real ferry boat, that means it's a nice ferry boat, provide VIP cabin, so it's a beautiful experience. You know, you're on the top, you're on the top and you can just see, you, know, you have a beautiful view of everything. And you can just have a nice little relaxing ride back. So family, definitely uh, excited about all of these wonderful journeys. And looking forward to sharing some more uh, fresh uh, videos. And a wonderful experience of reconnecting Africa. All right, family, we still have five more minutes. Yes, or longer. If um, we have questions and things, just you know, making myself available. But... People don't have any questions and things. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything else I can really go through. I went to months of a lot of different information in the same and so on. So I'm happy that everybody is prepared. So let's um, keep in touch and um, 
and I'll be available. So everybody, I'm going to unmute all of us so everyone can hear each other. So everyone, good night. Good night. It's a safe trip to Let's Tanzania. Continue. Bye. Bye. We'll talk to you later during the week. All right, absolutely. I'll be around. Okay. I okay, said, President, you take care now. Big, good night. Give little bit of Bomani a big hug for me. Oh, yes, absolutely. Appreciate everybody coming <laughs> through. Appreciate everybody time. Enjoy your <laughs> a wonderful Sunday night. And have okay. a prosperous, Bye. wonderful week. Let's uh, take care. You too. Aquaba. Yes, and be prepared and ready and get ready for the journey of a lifetime. Okay. <laughs> be prepared for us too. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs>